Why, hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on Playframe and the date we are having with Aerith and also, to some extent, Red. Red is tagging along. Our honorary third wheel. But that's fine. I don't mind. Now, we have some activities still to do. I think we've got enough to get some beachwear going for these two already, but I am not going to miss out on more silliness when there's more silliness to be had. Let's start with... Yeah, why not? Whatever the wheelie Don't rendezvous thing is. Tifa, wheelies. get you some wheels. Yeah. <laughs> I really should have come to expect it at this point, but I... I'm surprised at how much more they are getting out of Costa del Sol, how much more there is to do here, how many more story and character moments they're creating. Way into it. Let's see. All you need to do is pick a wheelie to rent, ride it to your heart's content, then claim your prize when you're done. I've been riding around a bunch. Okay, we got two prizes now. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. You now qualify for an expert license. I must say, you're leaving your competition in the dust. Only one more license remains. The road ahead is long, but I have no doubt you'll roll to the finish in no time. Keep on rolling! I try. And I've got so much more to do out here. I don't think this will be an issue. Hello. Oh, you taking part in Wheelie Rendezvous? Maybe. I'm so sorry. We, like, just stopped our wheelie rentals for the day. You're kidding me. What should we do instead, Tifa? Tifa? You're not from Sector 7, are you? In Midgar? Um... Oh? Yes, I am. Oh, Tifa! My life, my love, nay, my everything! Um... You're not quoting Johnny, are you? What a disappointment. See, I was expecting someone very different. Someone metropolitan and chic who lights up every room she walks into. I mean... I have no idea what he sees in you. Hey! Um, excuse me? Stow the tood. It's fine. I, uh, I get this all the time. That's some kind of humble brag? Hey, Jenny! Don't just stand there. <laughs> Go get the unreturned wheelies. Don't tell me what to do. Ugh! How come everyone here thinks they're better than me? I'm just giving you work. Screw this! I quit! Ugh, should have known this would happen. So, you're friends with her, right? I mean... Since she quit, would you mind picking up the rest of the wheelies for me? Yeah, sure. We'll do it. You don't have to please everyone you meet. <laughs> I know, but I still feel like I owe it to Johnny. So I figure, maybe if I do this for Jenny, I'll have given him back something. Or maybe I just want peace of mind. I guess. <laughs> Let's get those wheelies. Johnny and Jenny. I really like how much Tifa is sort of a people pleaser to a fault in this one. Like, that's an aspect of her character that if it existed in the original, it did not come through in the localization. It, it, I didn't really pick up on it much anyway. It feels like it fits her, though. And it's a neat added nuance to her character. Like, a lot of these characters are getting added nuance that didn't feel like it was there in the original, but it absolutely feels right for them. I'm really impressed. Like, as silly as this game is, and as fan y as it often is in many ways, too, like, they really are digging deeper in on these characters in some really neat ways. I'm really impressed. Anyway, pick up Jenny Slack by retrieving the red, blue, and yellow wheelies scattered around Costa del Sol and returning them to their color-coordinated parking spots. I would love nothing more. I'm also very here for Aerith saying stow the tood. Just an added bonus to our day. So are like, we finding these things around everywhere? I can only assume yes. Like, so the red ones go here. Let's go see what we can find. Also, is there anything here yet? Seems like we're just doing like little 
optional side diversions right now. Which is just fine with me. Here's a blue one. Here's a red one. So we need to find two of each one. Red ones go back this way. Careful. Easy. Perfect. Let's find some more. Find the love you've been dreaming of. Register here for the great Cactuar Caper. Okay, we got us a blue one, but where do they go? Oh. Convenient. Tour Coast to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Yeah, we'll even be professional about this. Get it spun around the right direction. Yes. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Here's another blue one and a red one. All right. Perfect. Where are these yellow ones hiding? Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie. There's blue. Perfect job. But why? Is that what Johnny wants in a woman? An overachiever? Hello. Enjoy the spying, I guess. I imagine Tifa's pretty used to that experience as well. BB, coming through. One side, everyone, one side. Overachiever coming through. Found your perfect partner yet? Perfectly executed. Again. Thank you. And she even made it easy for the next person to grab one. If I'm impressed, what must Johnny think of her? See, now you're finally getting it. Congratulations on finally acquiring your rightful appreciation of Tifa. Yo, tropical fish tastes super good. I just hope my swimsuit still fits. For real though, where are they hiding these yellow ones? Ooh, yellow. All right, here we go. And they should get stored. Um... Oh, here we go. And spin it around, and boom. I see you over there. I don't see Yuffie, though. She hasn't been near her little food truck in a bit. Maybe she's down at the beach. <laughs> I sure do, but in a minute. First things first. Okie dokie, okie dokie, hang on. Here we go. And mission accomplished. Good God, it's just some dumb wheelies. Why does she care? <sighs> of course Johnny would fall for a girl like her. I've been going about this all wrong, haven't I? Can I help you? Jenny, over here. We brought all the wheelies back for you. <laughs> Stop being so nice. I can't take it. I've decided. I'm going to give up on Johnny. There's no way I could ever compete with you. My way of saying sorry. Take him. There's two cards there, so have fun. Ooh. Hold up. Thanks, but that's way too generous. Well, this one's for you and Johnny. I bet you'll have a more fun together. I think you've got the wrong idea. Johnny and I are just friends, nothing more. For real? But the way he talks about you, I figured you were... You know he likes to exaggerate. True. <laughs> and of course, he also has a habit of getting carried away. I would feel a lot better if he had someone to back him up. Keep him out of trouble. Oh! So you're hoisting him on me! Is that it? Kind of. <laughs> Nothing like that. Sorry. Forget I said anything. Anyway... Thanks for the card. I'm glad we got all this straightened out. Plus, now I know Johnny's a free man. So, I might as well shoot my shot then, huh? See ya! Go for it. 
Speaking of Johnny, maybe we should check on him. He was running toward what looked like a Shinra chopper. Hey, how about an orb or two? Johnny boy. You're not getting in trouble again, are you? Johnny? I wonder what kind of guy this Bud, what's Eric? happening? What are the two of you doing here? That's our question. And what's with the bag? Luggage for a Shinra executive. Gotta make sure it gets to his hotel safe and sound. Seriously? You're working for Shinra now? After all that talk about how much you hate them? Mayor's orders. After everything he's done for me, I gotta. Don't look at me like that! I'm not some, some sellout! We should go. Yeah, you're right. You know, I was about to say, like, Johnny's got real, like, Yakuza, like a dragon character energy about him. But then, as soon as I had that thought, I sort of realized this whole game kind of has a little bit of that vibe. Is this guy? I was mentioning Are other silly big budget games, right? like, uh, last week. <laughs> the Yakuza series is 100% one of those two. Honestly, it, in a way, it feels like maybe this game is taking kind of like some tonal pages out of Yakuza's book, or Like a Dragon. I guess it's called Like a Dragon now. Even so, like, it feels like that's got to be a little bit of an influence here. The abundance of mini games and side activities that you'd spend more than half the time doing. <laughs> the silliness, especially when it comes to, like, side characters and whatnot. It wouldn't surprise me. Whatever influenced it, it's delightful. Where'd he go? Hmm. It's possible we can't find him yet. Until later on in story stuff. But let's poke our head in the two hotels real fast. Maybe... Maybe we'll bump into him. Johnny, you in here? That seems like a no. Maybe the other one. Johnny! Yeah, we'll bump into him later. First, I am far, far too interested in seeing whatever this minigame is that we can send Red through. He's got some energy to burn. I can sense it. Red? Red, where are you? Got a furry friend who needs oh, there you are. Off some energy? Come to run wild. Hey, Aerith, you take over for a bit. You lead, I'll follow. Sounds good to me. So what is this? Welcome to Run Wild, a paradise for animals big and small. Today's oh. first place prize is none other than Costa del Sol's famous tropical meat. Do we have any takers? Don't be shy now. Red, easy. You want some? Then I say go for it. My, what beautiful red fur you have. Ready to run wild? Then step right up. I can't wait. Four teams duke it out in this ferocious battle to see who's king of the jungle. Chase the ball around the field and shoot it into your opponent's cult. All right, yeah, we're playing soccer or Rocket League. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, uh, right. Dash with R2, jump with L2, shoot with square, lob with X. This is going to be a great time. Must finish in the top two to win. Uh, but I want to finish in the top one because I want that silver collar. It looks like a weapon. I must have it. And also, Red is hungry. We're playing against a chocobo. Some dogs. Some other dogs. Eh. My ball. All of you stay away from my ball. Gotta score it in some goal, I assume. Or does it need to be mine? 
I should have paid better attention. Seeing as how they're trying to knock it towards mine, I kind of assume. Yep. That won't do. Nope. Get it in the air! No. Must score points red. Go! Ah, oh, another ball. Oh no. Eh. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So we need to put some points in each goal to lower their score. Keep it away from mine, that's all that matters. Yeah, go. Yes. All right. Good, good, good. No, stay away from mine. Yes, yes, yes. Ha 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 ha. Sucker. This is a fun little game. And chaotic. Eh. <laughs> this food is as good as reds. No. <laughs> Keep that away from red's goal. Nope. No! No! Curses. I'll show you. Nope. Nope, nope, no! Dog on it. I had such a strong start. All right, Chocobo. You are not keeping that point. No. Yeah. This is not working out. Get it in there. Quick. Get it in the goal. Eh, there. Whew, well, at least we're tied in first. That was close. Not our best, but decent. Good boy. That was amazing. And for your owner, a companion card. Make sure to come back soon. Was it just as good as you were hoping? It was the finest meat I have ever tasted. Thank you. Hey, you won that for yourself. And honestly, I want to try that again. I want to win. BRB. Almost got it. Commanding lead. Good. All right. This is ours. Yes. Red win. That's quite tricky to do. Fun, though. Yes. Come back once you're good and ready. Grand. So wait. New weapon, yeah? Red? Yeah, silver collar. Wrought from a high-quality metal, said to ward off magical fiends with chilling roar. Retaliate with ice shards whenever hit by an attack. Charges the vengeance gauge when a counter strike. Ooh, that's going to be so good for red. Love it. And let's see. Vengeance gauge charge rate up. Definitely. And MP recovery rate up. Attack damage. Offensive MP saver. Eh. Let's just take a straight up. Attack boost. Awesome. Okay. I think that's about everything. Let's go get some beachware. Yes. The time has come. So excited. Hang loose. Want to exchange companion cards for beachware? This is the place. Heck yes. Got two for Tifa. And two options as well. The Majestic Glamour, and the Shining Spirit. We really should just be getting all of these. I'll start with the Shining Spirit, and for 
Eris. It's a tough call. These are both very cute. I kind of like the wrap. Feels very Aerithy. Come again. I'm amazed that like not only did they make beachwear <laughs> for a bunch of our characters, but even options. Multiples. Alright, gang. Let's get changed. It is beach time. Here we go. Perfect. And for Tifa. We all look great. What a good looking bunch. I'll go get the rest of those suits later on. Yuffie's got to be down at the beach. Or she's already bailed on us. Or she's robbing our hotel. All of these are possibilities. Nice touch. I can tell you're just dying to hit the beach right about now. Let's go. Ready to rock? Do you even have to ask? Beach time. Beach time. Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> Tifa, you look as sleek as a dolphin, and you, Aerith, are as luminous as a sea snail. Cloud and Aerith have the same taste in beachwear. What? Is that your way of complimenting us? Human beauty is hard for me to assess. Red, you did great. There you are. Join the beach bunch, come on. <laughs> How's it going? Like, seriously. Oh, look at these two. Not even trying to blend in. Honestly. Barrett, come on. Cloud? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. It's just hot. Uh, in the sun. Nice save, bud. Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on sunscreen. Okay, can you get my back then? <laughs> she knows exactly what to say. Make way, people. To make him awkward. Back it up. Every time. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, Joe. Oh. What a wonderful surprise it is to see you again. Ah, rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate, a very special show is about to start. One starring you, perhaps. Now this <laughs> is okay. so much fun. Hey, what are you going to sleep? You wake up for us. us. <laughs> so what say you? Care to join me in the lab? If you girls sign up with Shinra, you'll be set for life. Wow, that's quite an offer. And as luck would have it, I'm in need of a few female assistants. <laughs> Think about it. You could help give birth to the world's next hero. That would be so cool. He might mean that literally. Before Slow a hero down. Strikes down his foe. He must strike them with awe at his beauty. But he is not a hero by virtue of innate greatness. Only by inspiring others does he earn the title. Do you follow? It's admittedly a lofty concept. Too lofty for me, but it sounds amazing. Hmm. There you are, Professor. So glad you could make it. I trust my girls are making you feel welcome. 
There's nothing sexier than a man in a white coat. Say, Professor, how about I polish those glasses for you? Care to savor some of the local delicacies, Professor? Here, open wide. I'm just really hoping that someone somewhere, even just as a little side comment in the group chatter, makes some mention of lab coat at the beach being the sign of an intellectual. Just one of my favorite random weird lines from the original. Probably not going to happen, but... So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? <laughs> not consciously, then. As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. Uh, line him up. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Let's move Come along, sir. This way. <laughs> and stop. There you go. You just yeah. ought to do it. Perfect. And we shall. Bye bye. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? That, my friends, is for me to know. And for you to find out. What's happening? The heck is that thing? Okay. What? Not cool, man! Not cool! <laughs> not cool! Not cool! Not cool! No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Ah! Oh, yes! Yes! Only a reunion could produce such results! At long last, I have specimens worthy of my attention! Sick bastard! I'll kill you! Barret! Now's not the time. Ah, someone has to stop them. Look, us. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> Perfect. Incredible. Select a pair to join. Uh, game, must you make this impossible? Uh, impossible. Get your equipment in order before joining the fray. What equipment? <laughs> what an incredible squad we've got here. In general. All here for a good beach vacation. That is getting ruined. I'm gonna get this sorted right out. You're going down. Let's mess him up. I don't think we need to assess any of these. Nah. Get him, Barrett. Beautifully done. I'm gonna make you Okay, Aerith. Someone looks kinda shaky. Go on! Ready? That's the way to do it. Let's see here. Go on! One of these. Good, 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 good. Yeah, badly blocked. Let's get serious. Let's use Tempest. What else you got? Don't warp right behind me. 
Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Um. Hang on. There you go. I think we're almost done. Give me that MP. And you. Lend me your strength. Goodness, once once Aerith gets going and set up with her wards and everything, the damage output is bonkers. Uh-oh. Hmm, a promising specimen. <laughs> Splendid! Might you be interested in bringing a new hero to life? Go! Cool oh boy. All right, here we go. With a gastropod. Haha, <laughs> I've blocked so much of that. That felt very good. Hojo, you're ruining beach trip. Just do it right. Okay. Weak to lightning, that makes sense. Inflicting enough damage or landing synergy skills and synergy abilities will pressure it. After a certain amount of time, it'll use missiles and drones to capture targets. After using breakneck spin, it'll overheat, rendering it temporarily inoperative. Great to know. Let's, yeah, let's use more synergy things in general. Please don't do that. Aerith, help me out with this one. Boy, that Spellblade move hits real hard. Here it comes. Keep pressuring it. Almost. Ah, oh, so close. There you go. Uh, there you go. Cloud, do something. That'll have to do. Don't retrieve subjects, please. No. You are the specimen I was seeking, but I'm sure the data you provide will be fascinating nonetheless. Now. It's on you. I'll take care of them. One more shot. All right, charge up. That'll do. Hit it with range stuff. No! <laughs> I was just preparing a very, very good hit. Ready? You're up. My interest in you is purely structural. Can I? Cellular, to be precise. There's not like... No, there's not a thing that I can hit to uh, free Aerith. Now I'm just gonna have to do this solo. A pity you did not inherit more of your mother's physical characteristics. That woman was gorgeous right down to her ah. genes. You... Dare silence me. Ah, tried to block. Failed to block. Cloud, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. And then there was one. Come along quietly now. Oh no. Cloud. That's all of them. And thus I take my leave. Not so fast. Finally! Spoil your comeback? No, you did good. <laughs> that thing's not gonna go down easy. But I've got an idea. Do me a favor. Keep it busy. Can do. No. Okay. Cloud, what are we gonna do with this? Fireball blade would probably be great. And we're gonna get silenced, unless we can- Okay, yeah, get some distance and it's fine. Great. Oh, come on. I was trying to block. Let's do a cure. Get ourselves caught back up. Oh, I think your friends are lonely. Let's see if we can't make them. I did this. This is all my fault. Hey, you! Mr. Mopey! Huh? Over here! Oh, me? <laughs> you want to help him, don't you? Then you'd better hold huh? still! Ah! Huh. Let's wrap this up.
Oh my. Can you please stop with all this pointless struggling? That'll do. Get away from it. Get in there. Look out. Ah. Oh, the range on that thing. It's on now. Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Pressure it. There you go. Hit it a bunch. Almost got it. So close. Darn it. Poisoned. Hey, you got a limit break. Why not? Hit it. Any last words? Yes. See what you can do. Johnny? No, don't. What? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Behold, justice is served. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Let him go. We've done enough. <sighs> Oh no, come on. You could bite him a little bit. Way to improvise, gang. Beach Umbrella Buster Sword. Absolutely ridiculous. Finally, back to beach time. It's lovely out here. So, how do you rate the beverage? <laughs> Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Dang. Costa del Sol. Used to make them back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Hasn't been that long. You want to go back? Lots happened since then. Yeah. Lots happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just... snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff? It's a part of who we are. Whether we like it or not. Yeah. The deepest wounds never really heal. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Cloud, Next come on. Time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. Okay, I'll allow it. That's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. This bunch is adorable. I like that everyone's swimwear sort of feels like in style for them like it matches their fashion in colors it also like the straps on tifa's top very much feel sort of like the suspenders for her usual look like it's fun costume design red how are we doing buddy it's because of hojo this place is in ruins no i can't blame him for our actions 
I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... I don't think you gotta. Yeah, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Anyone would want to punch that smug asshole. I know I do. <laughs> Your fists and my fangs. We're becoming closer buds with everyone. Some faster than others, though. I'll check in with you in a minute. Where's Barrett? And Yuffie, for that matter. Huh. Well, you're here. Nice sunset, too. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ethalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes... I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. Everyone's got someone they hate. They are just thoughts. They're just thoughts. Let them be dark and ugly. You are not. You think so? Look at him actually getting smoother. What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Just you wait. Huh. You're being all cryptic. Yuffie, Barrett, are y'all out here? Anywhere? Hey, how's it going? Um... You good? Maybe you should get some water. Late to the party once again. Why do I even bother? I'm finished. No. The company can't fire me if... If I fire myself first! You hear that? I quit! There we go. Hey, Rufus! Take your Mako and shove it up your ass! Hey, good for you. You're going to need a new name, or an actual name. I don't know if Shinra Middle Manager is going to be a fitting description anymore. Screw you, Shinra! Screw you! It's okay, you're not the only one with identity troubles out here. Access to the private beach is prohibited. My, my. I suppose we aren't staying at the fancy resort, are we? It's so pretty. I love the quality of light out here, like this nice haze. You can really feel the humidity in the air. Just some staggeringly good art in this game, kind of all around. Character, environment, all of it. Wait. Somebody. Somebody. Hey, there's our guy. Hate to say it, but that girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. 
You try, it's all you can do. Can't save everyone. You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. <laughs> you? Trying to tear me up? Now I've seen everything. Come on now, we're buddies. And I am not getting close to you as a friend nearly fast enough, in my estimation. But I suppose our dynamic... You ready to leave? Not really. I suppose our dynamic was more antagonistic from the start. Fair enough. Gotta make the most of these moments. Darn right. Look at this good food truck. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying the environment work in general in all these places. A lot of great little details. I don't suppose there's anything else going on with these tents. Hmm, maybe Yuffie's not on the beach. Good sandcastle, though. Yeah, not seeing anything. It's moments like these we have to hold on to. Well, I've certainly enjoyed beach time. Huh? Hope I get to bring Marlene here someday. I knew she'd love it. Yeah. All right. Hey, you ready to leave? Good to go. Gorgeous out here. Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah. No fun ain't the word I'd use. Oh, come on. So, back to the hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell in. How we doing? What's up, guys? Johnny, are you all right? <laughs> Never felt better. You're the man of the hour. I don't know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? So... The girls told Capono, Keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked! He caved! I am footloose and debt free, baby! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Johnny, the local hero! Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel! Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans! Ow! 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 ow. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that good in staying music. It's got its charm. Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some rogues. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... 
Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. Thank you. All right. Beach time mostly over, I guess. You know, something that really helps this game a lot, I think, like with a lot of the additions they are making and the extra time they are giving to every one of these locations we go along the way, it's making the... I see you up there. It's making the whole uh, trek post-Midgar feel much more like a road trip journey. More so than it honestly feels in the original game. Like, it does kind of feel that way, but you're going from place to place so fast, and you're spending so little time in each one, for the most part, that uh, they're all just small little stops. This makes it feel much more like a big grand trip, where we spend a lot of time and get closer as friends, and get a lot of scenes together with everybody, and we're doing all kinds... Like, it feels like a lot more time is passing, uh, and it's taking a lot longer to go to each place and do everything. Like, it's honestly helping the pacing of this larger stretch or at least it's not hurting this new much slower more thorough pacing going through each one of these locations i feel like it's working really well and i'm enjoying it a lot and i'm enjoying the thought that that kid's probably joining our group here pretty shortly and i can't wait i'll see y'all tomorrow to see if i'm right bye <laughs>